what's up everybody so today we're gonna to do another tutorial now we all know that I'm using the 3d printer from Dremel the Dremel 3d 45 and when I start something when I when I get a new tool or especially something like this I'm scouring the internet and I'm trying to figure out what is the easiest way to do something now my problem with the 3d printer before I got it was man I am freaking out about this how am I going to create a model and would I be able to do that? Now, I do have some 3D modeling background. I used to do it as a hobby. But a lot of you don't. So when you get a 3D printer, are you going to be able to create something? Well, first off, yeah, because we did a tutorial on Tinkercad, which we have open, and I'll show you here in a bit. Very easy software to learn. But even if you have no clue about 3D modeling or printing or anything, I am going to show you the easiest way to basically print or create anything you want and it's absolutely free. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is go to your Google or Bing or whatever you're using and we're going to type in 3D print models. That's what I did to find this and this seems to be the biggest website for it. There's other ones out there. Let me scoop myself over this way. You can see pin shape and 3D printable files and all that but Thingiverse seems to be the best one that I found so far. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this and when you open it up you're going to come to the front page and you don't even have to sign in or join if you don't want to which is pretty cool you can if you want um you can see right off the front here there's birdhouses but because we're an adult channel youtube right uh we're going to look for adult things here and we're going to see what we can find so let's get started i'll show you how to do this all right Let's get it started. So what we're going to do is you're going to go to Google, Bing, wherever you're using or whatever you're using. And now you can see there's a couple different sites here. If you type in 3D modeling here, um, pin shape comes up, 3D printables comes up. But the one that I found seems to be the biggest one out of them all. And you can find most of the stuff you're looking for. And the, and the detail in a lot of these models are probably the best out there. Uh, Thingiverse. So we're going to double click on that and then we're going to come up to our search bar and you can see the home screen you got a birdhouse so because this is an adult channel YouTube uh, we're going to look for adult things here and you also know that we do CNC work on this channel so what I want to do is maybe I want to create uh, a CNC dust boot for my shape Poco and instead of going out and spending $60 on one right because that's about what they cost we're going to make our own or not even make it. We're going to download it for free. And it's so cool that you can do this. Now, you can see sign in and join. You don't even have to join the site. That's what's really cool. But if you did want to join, you could create things, put them up on here. You can 3D model if you have that background, throw the stuff up on the site. And you can actually make money on that. And I'll show you that here in a bit. But let's type something in. Let's type in... Um, We'll type in DeWalt because that is the router that I use on the Shea Poco. So DeWalt router. Now, if I am looking for, and sometimes it takes a second to find what you're looking for, but if I am looking for a dust boot, I can go online, I can spend 40, 50, 60 bucks. And if you go on Estes or Etsy's or whatever it's called, then a lot of the time um, you can see them for about 40, 50 on there. But we want to make our own, right? Because we have the CNC printer, and we, we need to make it for free, basically. Now, the first thing you'll see is a bunch of stuff pops up here, right? And you have to decide what you want. So you have different parts here. We don't want those. You have the full CNC dust shoe right here. You have the full CNC dust shoe here, one right here. This one here looks the closest to my setup. And I like this one for one reason, because you can print every part you need right out on the 3D printer and it, it'll work without any screws or any bolts whatever you print it'll it'll get going for you so let's double click this here and it's going to bring you to this now this is one that was already printed out this is the display picture and if I click on here it's going to show you more pictures right and how it's going to work for you and you can see the brushes we'll talk about the brushes here in a bit this right here they took that out don't don't worry about this um, but there's a couple of different parts that you're going to have to print. All right. So all you have to do to make this yourself on the 3D printer is download all files. And when it downloads all files, you're going to see down here on the bottom left, we're going to up click it, show in folder, or you can open it, whatever. I'm just going to copy it or cut it. 
and I'm just going to pin it to my desktop. So that's what we're going to do here. And once I do that, all I have to do now, I'm done. I'm done with what I'm looking for. Maybe that's the thing I wanted to make. That's it. I can close out of that. That's all I have to do on that site. So I'm going to double click this here and you'll see files. You'll have the images or files. We're going to open up the files and you're going to see there's three different files here. So let me just copy or cut and I'll, I'll paste those out. You can do it however you want. This is how I do it. I like to see them in front of me here. So you're going to see they're going to boom, boom, boom. One, two, three. Okay. So now let's move on to the next step. So if you do 3D printing, you know that you have to use what's called a slicer. And that's basically your build plate right here in front of us. And it's a free download for Dremel. It's the Dremel, um, I think it's uh, Digilab. Yeah, right here. Dremel 3D Slicer. So what we got to do here, you can see this is the build tray. And you can set it up for whatever printer you're using from Dremel. Uh, or whatever slicer you're using, it doesn't matter. It doesn't even have to be Dremel, whatever you're using. So let's do this here we're going to take our first file that we saved and all we're going to do is left click it and drag it down in so when we do that you can see it drags it right down into our build plate and that's it the size is already there we don't have to do anything when it comes to size so all i'm going to do is just move this over i'm going to left click and drag it over there and you see where it it's a little, it looks like a zebra there. Well, that's saying that you're too far off your build plate. So we're going to bring this in a little bit more. Come on, come on. There you go. And we got two more files that we're going to have to bring in. So left click, drag, and then just bring this over. Left click, drag. Get out of the way, me. All right. So I'm going to open this up full screen. Bring myself down here. So we have three different parts. Let me move this over here. This right here is your main boot or shoe. This right here is a pin. I'll scroll in a little bit and I'm going to right click and drag. And you can see here is your pin right here. And then this is your latch to close it up to tighten it so it doesn't go anywhere. But you see that pin goes right here, right down in that hole and that latch will go right inside. So you don't need anything else to operate this other than the bristles which we'll talk about here in a bit we'll go back to thingiverse so now what we need to do is i'm going to insert my thumb drive which i like to do and there's a couple different things we can do here now if you look up here the material that we're going to use is pla if i want i can come over here medium quality high quality ultra quality the higher in quality that you go, the longer this thing is going to take to make. So I would say for this, because you have to put it up on something that's already there, I would go at least high quality. Um, that way, you know, you're not fighting with it. It goes on pretty smooth and it stays where it needs to stay. So we can go high quality. Now this right here, the infill, 0%, 20%. The 0% is basically going to give you a mold right so it's just going to do a very thin outline of this and there's not going to be any structure there's not going to be any strength to this so we don't want that the 20 percent if you clicked on that it's still not enough it's going to give you a little bit of structure on the inside some webbing but this thing is going on a cnc machine so you want it to have at least some strength if i went to 100 percent, it's going to be completely solid which you can do but it'll take you a very long time to make this so we're not going to do 100%. I think 50% will be fine. I think 50%, there's enough strength there. It's going to hold up. You know, we're using PLA, so it's a little bit more, uh, it's a harder plastic. And, and I think you're good with that. Do I need to generate support? No, I don't. So I wouldn't click that. I'll just unclick it here. Bill plate adhesion. What that is, just letting you know. If you ever seen a 3D printer, it'll come out and it'll go around and around and around. And, but it's not building anything. It's not doing anything other than just leaving some plastic on the outside perimeter. And what that's doing is, is basically getting out all the gunk and any imperfections that it might start out. If you started printing immediately, it, it might mess it up so it, it kind of starts out make sure that plastics to temperature and then it goes over and starts building so that's what i would do i would build uh the plate adhesion and then infill i would do 50 percent 
So now that we have that, you're just going to hit prepare. And when it prepares, it's going to say slicing down here. And then all you have to do, what's really nice about the Dremel, is that it will automatically save it to your thumb drive. So all you have to do is take the thumb drive out of your computer, bring it down to the 3D printer, hit build, and boom, that is it. So this one here is a little bit bigger. You can see that there's a lot more going on here. You got three parts. So, and you can even move this closer if you wanted to, but this is just for demonstration. Um, but it says ready to slice. And then you hit the prepare. And then after it does that, and it, you can see it messed up because I hit that button there. But once it starts slicing, it'll, it'll automatically want to save to your thumb drive. All right, so it has stopped slicing. It's done doing what it needs to do. And you can see it pops up here, save to removable drive. I'm just going to click that and it saves it right to the drive. I see it blinking right now. And I'll just hit eject. You can do that all from this system right here. So very, very cool. You just take that drive out and you bring it down to the 3D printer and it's ready to go. Now, let me show you something else here. On the model itself, you can see there's 225 likes, you know, comments and so on, whether or not these things are good, if they printed well. Sometimes you get a model, it's not so great, but it's almost like a review section. So it's pretty nice. What you could do if you wanted to is you could actually bring a model into Tinkercad that we showed you on the last one. I'll put an end card for you. But so this right here, just to give you an idea, I brought this model in from, and I'm going to go tinker this. So I brought this model in from Thingiverse. And what it is, it's a battery holder for Makita batteries. But I wanted to change it to DeWalt batteries. So basically what I did was I brought it over and I, I did a few things here to it. And what I'm saying is you can bring a model in and do whatever you want to it. So you can enhance it, you can stretch it, you can add to it, you can bring it larger, smaller, up, down. So it's not just a, you know, okay, here's the model, that's it. If you have Tinkercad, you can actually create or add to the model that you downloaded. So that is very cool. Check out our Tinkercad overview. All right, so let's go up to the dashboard here. Let's look around here a little bit, see what else we can find. So let's go to Explore. So there's a couple different sections, and we have nothing to do with Thingiverse. They have no idea we exist, um, but let's, let's click on Things. So if you click on Things, you know, things will appear, right? Maybe things that you might not need, maybe things you do need, maybe things you think are cool. So there's like a knife or whatever, and you know, there's a boat or stuff for your motor or cell phone holder with a hand. So just a bunch of stuff that you can go down through and look and say, never really thought I needed that, but not a bad idea. So just giving you some information on things and if you go up here if you scroll up and, and they go on forever so you can go to newest you can go to featured popular let's go to popular real quick um so that's like a i don't know turtle thing you know cell phone holder you know a 3d cable tray that's pretty cool battery dispenser cable holders uh filament holders vases pumpkins just all kind of stuff like I said, stuff you might not think you'll ever need. You probably don't. But if you have a 3D printer, <laughs> you can make it if you want. You know, light switches. I don't know what this is here. CNC design and parts. So you can design a CNC. So that's pretty cool, right? I mean, you can design a CNC. Um, yeah, so just all kind of stuff here. But what I want to show you now is we'll go back to, um, let's just go back to what we found. We're going to go to DeWalt. And this guy did pretty good, so I, we're going to use him for an example. We'll, um, we'll just go right where we were at, the well, right here. So that's the CNC shoe. So if you scroll down on these models, usually you have questions, right, before you make the build. Because sometimes you have to commit, right? 13 hours for a build, that's a long time. So I want to know, okay, what about the brushes? How did he get the brushes on there? right am i gonna have to buy something am i going to have to make something how did he do it well you come down here and what's nice about it's a summary they tell you listen this dust shoe uses the included black adjustment ring from the wall blah 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 blah. so you should already have that part you know it tells you the features and all that but here he put i use the following brush strip from mcmaster and bend it into the ring uh, channel on the underside of the base plate 
So if you were to click there, he actually gives you the link for the brushes and you can order that and then put that around your shoe. So very cool. He did a very good job. And uh, so that's what's nice about this is that you're getting the information that you need. They put it in there. So, you know, they do pretty good. Now, the other thing I will tell you is if maybe you found something that is really saving you some time or some money or something you've been looking for and you can see this is his name here so i'm giving you a shout out gauge 6917 you could probably go I'll, I'll click on that here in a bit and see what else he has seems to be a pretty good designer that looks pretty thorough um but you can tip the designer so if you found something that really helped you or saved you money or time you can give them a tip so if you're a 3d modeler and you design something and put it up on this site, you can make money off of it. So that's pretty cool. If you have a 3D printer already, boom, you know, start designing stuff on Tinkercad or Blender or whatever you're using, whatever CAD program you're using, and start making some money off of it. I mean, really, there's just so much stuff on here. If you type in tools, you can see there's tool holders and make screwdriver holders and, you know, a lot of holders, you know. Uh, here's for all your bits. You know, just tons and tons of stuff. You can make your own crescent wrench. I'm not sure how well it'll work, but just saying, you know, candy dispenser, whatever. Not a kid's channel, YouTube. But yeah, just all kind of stuff that you'll never think you'll ever need to use. But I can tell you right now that there are parts that I've already needed for my CNC or my other things, and I was able to print them out. And half the time, I did not even need to design it myself. I came here, and you can basically find anything. Anything. So let me know what you think. You know, does this help you? If it does, don't forget to smash the like button. Get subscribed. If you're not subscribed, we're going to come out with a lot of these videos here. It's a newer channel, but we're going to grow it. And I think we're going to have fun doing it. So please leave a like. We'll be back with more videos soon.